exponential. If the ratio between convergence and element in the domain is constant, so such loops have the formula a r exponents x minus b. Where a a is the first term in the range or the whole domain, and b is the first term in the domain, as well as what r becomes our ratio. Now let's prove the formula. We have an example like this. X max to y, 1 max to 1, 2 max to 4, 3 max to 16, 4 max to 64, then 5 max to 256. Now using the formula, we have A R X minus B. And we said that A equals what? The first step in the codomain. These are our codomain. You understand? And these are what? our domain. For you to be able to know that this ratio, this um, this market is exponential. Look at the codomain. Do you have a constant difference between them for the ratio? You understand? For the ratio. Uh -huh. Looking at the linear mapping, we were having constant difference between them. But this one is not like that. 4 minus 1 is 3. 16 minus y is what? Is 12. Which is not constant. You get it. So in this case, we have, uh, let's do this, R A equals the first term in the codomain. Our first term here is what? 1. So A equals 1. Then B equals, what is our B? Our B becomes the first term in the domain. So which is what? Which is also 1. Then our R, which is our ratio. Our ratio now becomes... This one over, so we choose any of the values in the code domain. Any of the values, you understand it? So this becomes what? 4 over 1. We can give us 4. We can prove it. We can what? Confirm our answer. Then we can choose any of it again. So it becomes 16 over 4. We can also give us what? 4. So whichever number you choose in the code domain, whichever two numbers you choose in the code domain, you are supposed to get the same answer for the ratio. You understand it? Now let's confirm it again. 256, 256 over 64 is giving us what? 4. Therefore, our ratio is equal to 4. You understand? Now by getting this, we have our values known. We have our A known, we have our B known, and we have our R also known. Let's substitute it back into the formula. So by substituting so substituting into the formula, into the formula A, R, X minus B, we have A, uh, what did we get for A? We had 1 times R, what did we get for R? We have 4, you understand? Then our uh, X wasn't known, so we have X minus, what did we get for B? 1, great. Minus 1. So this we solve it. So 1 times 4 is what? 4. So we are going to get 4x minus what? 1. So that is that. Therefore, our rule for this mapping is 4 exponents x minus 1. That is our rule for the mapping. So y equals, therefore, our rule is equals y equals 4x, 4 exponents x minus 1. We can prove it. So let's prove it whether our rule is correct or not. So we pick any of the f values. These are f values. We pick any of the f values and substitute it into the formula as the rule. Whether you get x, y corresponding y value. You understand it? So in this case, let's pick it. When x equals 2, let's see whether we are going to get x corresponding value as what? As 4. That's the code domain. So in this case, we have y equals. For x, whenever we see x, we substitute 2 there. So it becomes 2 minus 1. So we have 4 exponent. 2 minus 1 is what? 1. Which is giving us 4. Did we get a 4? Perfect. So in this case, our rule is correct. But let's confirm it. I always want us to confirm it before we move on. You understand? So we choose any of the x value again. Choose any of the x values again. And substitute it into our rule that we've got. It. So when, so this is one, we are proving the first two. When x equals, 
Let's put when s equals 5 and you see. Or when s equals 3. Okay, let's put when s equals 3. Then we put it into the group. So it becomes y equals 4 exponents x minus 1. So y equals wherever we see s, we put 3 there. 4, 3 minus 1. Do you understand? So this equals 4 exponents 2. 4 exponents 2 is what? 16. And did you get our y value as 16? Perfect. So in this case, our rule is correct. So whenever you are given an exponential equation, an exponential marking, use the formula a r exponent x minus b. For you to be able to know that it's exponential mapping, look at the difference between the codomain and the difference between the domain. Are they consistent? Are they constant? If they are not, this minus this is 3. This minus this is 12. It cannot be linear. Therefore, it's what? Exponential. Then you apply the formula a r x minus b. You understand? Where are a is our first term in the codomain, our b is the first term in the, code, in the domain. Uh, R becomes our, our ratio. Our ratio is you pick any, any second number, you divide by first number. Third number divided by second number, those divided by those, to see whether you are going to get constant ratios. Do you get it? When you get a constant ratio, you now substitute it back into the formula. A R exponent X minus B. And that is what we have. Do you understand? Thank you.